what's up everybody it's your boy danny j quick back with another episode of super shorts where we tell superhero short stories um today this episode should be posted on thursday so that means that by now uh we should have uh launched our new kickstarter for the short film that we uh we've been working on for the past month and month and a half now called uh my big little sister it's a uh, it's a uh, one that we did with our our two oldest daughters kendra and stephanie it's about two teenage girls who are home alone for the weekend and uh what happens when the little sister wakes up big yeah so uh we had a lot of fun filming it um and we just need a a little help getting it getting it finished so uh, we hope you all will join us with that but i got a special episode this week because you all know here uh <laughs> in the fourth wall universe everything is connected so um this uh, short story that i'm gonna read for you this week is actually connected to the uh my big little sister uh short film so this is one of the rare occasions where i'll tell you straight up you know where something is connected usually i like to get let y'all figure it out for yourselves where things are connected in the fourth wall universe but this one since we're promoting the uh the the kickstarter i figured i'd just go ahead and give you this little easter egg um but this one is called uh hidden power it's an extremely short story by me danny j quick for the fourth wall universe ace blade has a superpower a young woman screeches and races through the hall towards a group of other teenagers gathered in the hallway just outside their gym no he doesn't a thin boy wearing thick glasses responds he tugs at his gym shorts removing a rather deep wedgie and grabs a basketball off the metal wrap outside the door as the group prepares to enter i just saw it this morning i can prove it the young lady finally catches up with the group and pulls out her phone a few of the kids slow through the double doors causing the little congestion at the entrance she spins the flat phone like a shuriken and taps the screen then uses the same finger to push the frame of her glasses up on her nose. As the video starts, as the video starts, a few other curious kids goose their necks to see what all the hoopla is about. Look! Kendra's saliva glands start to produce a little bit faster, causing her to lick her lips and swallow as the video begins. I've seen this already! The tall and lanky Thomas turns away, dismissing the footage. No, look! Kendra scripts ahead a bit, and the group of eight teenagers squeeze in around the small screen. Ace Blade appears out of the left corner of the video and races towards a masked man who appears to be drawing a gun. The vigilante closes the gap of 10 yards with lightning speed and leaps into the air, drawing his short sword from the sheath in the small of his back. Right there! Kendra exclaims, shifting her gaze to the confounded countenance of the other kids in the group. Bang! As the sound of the gunshot pops out of the small speakers, the kids look as if they just heard of Pythagoras for the first time. You didn't see it? Kendra drags the timer of the screen back a few seconds and uses two fingers to zoom a bit. Oh, shoot! Thomas's eyes bulge as he tilts his head forward like a chicken to get a better look. He jumped again in mid-air! Before Kendra can even finish her hypothesis, another kid dismisses it. Girl, he pushed off the wall to get to him faster. He's not even near the wall there. I'm telling you, he can fly or something. Kendra's nostrils flare as she looks for an acceptance in the eyes of each kid standing there. She finds only doubt and confusion. I don't know. He definitely got a boost from somewhere. Thomas grabs the basketball from Terry and turns around and heads into the gym, like I'm about to do. Thomas leaps in the air and slams the ball against the top of the door and does his best LeBron James flex. As the kids laugh and head into the gym, Kendra rewinds the video once more and grins. So that was a super, super short one. Uh, sometimes, you know, I just uh, <laughs> just get in the mood to write. And uh, I, I want to say I wrote this one maybe a year ago and, uh, you know, just kept it around. And and I've been I've been trying to get my, my children into um writing and creating they always are, are have been fans of the comics that we write and and of the characters and the creative process but um you know they never really took up the mantle until you know until recently we we actually had the opportunity because of a 
uh, another movie that came out the movie little we were actually inspired um from a contest that they were doing and 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 we saw you know the little storytellers um competition and uh, we decided to make a short film um you know we we wanted to make a short film anyway the beginning of the year we're going to make an ace blade short film but um it was a little bit out of our <laughs> out of our reach here we, we got a little ahead of ourselves and uh, and we couldn't make that one happen but we did um we did take some time and and put together a short little funny film with just the um just the four of us and we had a good time making it i think it's funny i think you'll all enjoy it um my two daughters they're they're both going to be stars i can already tell um, they're so smart and talented but i hope you enjoyed the short story uh again this is danny with the super shorts podcast where we tell superhero short stories make sure you check out my big little sister on kickstarter and until next time stay vigilant my friends i'm out